Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, we're going to do another Bites and Nibbles segment today. Today what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a meatloaf. Now I know a lot of you are groaning and saying, really Breck, another meatloaf? Well, this one's a little bit different because this one's going to be done in the Instant Pot. And I thought, oh, okay, that sounds like a kind of an interesting idea. And in addition to that, I was kind of talking to my mom a few days ago, and I was discussing my plans to visit her in California at some time in the near future. And she was happy to hear that, but one of the things that she said she wanted me to help her with when I got there was familiarizing her, herself with her own Instant Pot. You may recall that I got my Instant Pot uh, for Christmas a little over a year ago, and my mom had never really heard of them at the time, but she was kind of intrigued by the idea too. So when we got out, went out and got mine, she said, well, I'd like one too. So we got her one also, but up until this point, she's never used it. Uh, my mom was a little bit intimidated by technology, and I think she's just been a little bit afraid of it. So I don't think it's gonna be that difficult, but I wanna show, kind of show her some Instant Pot recipes, kinds of things that she can do and uh, maybe get her to be a little less, less afraid of it. I know she loves steamed vegetables, so you know that will be a natural right off the bat, and that's really easy to do. She's got everything she needs to do it, but like I said, I want to show her some other things too, and so this is sort of what that's about. So let's get going on this. All right, so here are the ingredients for our Instant Pot meatloaf. First off, you got to have two pounds of ground chuck, uh, a yellow onion, some panko brand breadcrumbs. I've never heard of that before. And honestly, I had to wander around the aisles at the grocery store to find it, but they have it. It was in the baking section. So if you want to do it, that's where you find it. I was kind of figuring I might have to uh, just make my own breadcrumbs, but since I found what's actually in the recipe, I said, okay, let's use that. Uh, two eggs, uh, some milk, some ketchup, and salt and pepper to taste. Oh, and we'll be using the Instant Pot and the steamer basket to prepare this recipe. Now the first step is to combine the breadcrumbs and the milk into a large bowl. Uh, normally I'd use just a large salad bowl, but since I'm gonna kinda mix everything up with my uh, mixer here, I'm gonna kinda prepare everything in here. So third, or half a cup of the breadcrumbs, a third a cup of the milk, and we're gonna just kinda mix it all together just to, uh, just to let it kinda soak a little bit. And uh, we're gonna let that sit for about four to six minutes according to the recipe. So just kind of get it all mixed in there. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. All right, we've given it a few minutes now for my milk and breadcrumbs to, to uh, kind of mix together. And now we're gonna combine the uh, chopped onions two uh, whisk eggs and salt and pepper. Throw in the onions and the salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna mix that together a little bit. I'm actually gonna use the mixer because that's what it's here for, right? And now that that's nice and blended, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw in my two pounds of ground beef. One, two. And I'm going to put that in there, lock it down, and we're just going to start letting this mix all together. Like I said, if you don't have a, a mixer like this, you can always do this by hand. But you know what, if you get the kitchen equipment, you might as well use it, right? All right, so after I got everything mixed in, um, what I did is I coated uh, some aluminum foil with uh, some cooking spray, and the recipe actually says about a quarter of a cup of ketchup, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just kinda liberally gonna spread the ketchup all over all over my meatloaf here, and then just kinda mix it together with a, with a basting brush. This is one of those things that you can pretty much do what you have to. That's probably a lot more than a quarter of a cup, but that's okay. Just kind of mix it all over, got it covered all over the place here. I've actually been known to not just use ketchup, but actually mustard too on uh, on meatloaf. But when I like trying, when I try a new recipe like this for the first time, I basically stay pretty loyal to the recipe. There'll be time to mess around with it uh, when I try it again. 
All right, that looks pretty good, huh? Not too bad. Once I get the ketchup coating over the top of it, um, I kind of lift the whole concoction with the uh, aluminum foil into the steamer basket. Kind of make sure that the foil is kind of uh, going all the way around there so you don't want, it, want any of it to leak out. And then what we're going to do is we have two cups of water. We're going to pour two cups of water into our instant pot. Remember, it's the water that makes uh, the pressure. And then we're going to put our steamer basket right in on top. We're going to close the lid and lock it. Now the recipe book, and I've run into this before, the recipe book always says put it on manual. But in manual mode, I don't have a manual mode on there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do pressure cook. We're going to set the timer for 35 minutes. Make sure that the pressure is on high and you can adjust that with the pressure button. Hello, high. And we'll come back to this in about 35 minutes. All right, so 35 minutes have passed. Now we've talked about venting this thing on a couple of occasions. There's actually two ways of venting it. There's the quick release where you where you uh, press this button here and it vents the pressure immediately. And then there's a the natural release where you kind of let it go for a certain period of time and uh, it kind of slowly vents over time. And that's what we're gonna do this time. The instructions say that we wanna naturally release for 10 minutes and then uh, once that's done, then we'll uh, quick release the rest of the pressure. So we'll c catch up with this in 10 more minutes. All right, 10 minutes have passed and we're gonna quick release the rest of the pressure. Not much left in there, but that's okay. And let's see what we got. Open up the lid. Once again, kind of be aware that you get a little steam condensing on the underside of it, so don't lift the uh, the lid off right away. Kind of let it drip it drip back in there, and you won't make as much a mess. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, let's pull this thing out and uh, give it a try. That actually looks pretty good. Now a lot of the ketchup came off, so we'll probably end up putting some more ketchup on it, but. Let's take a slice out of this and see how it came out. All right, that looks pretty good. It's a little pink still in the middle, so uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, I think for subsequent meals it won't be a problem because I'll nuke it a little bit and that'll kind of deal with that. But um, I also put a little bit more ketchup on and I got a nice uh, spicy brown mustard that we may uh, augment it a little bit with. But let's give this thing its taste test. All right, so it's time for the, the all-important taste test. Uh, let's see how this works. Yeah, very good. Uh, got everything you'd want out of a meatloaf. It's uh, very flavorful. Got good uh, good juiciness. I did have to add more ketchup to it, which we kind of expected. Um, but yeah, this is really, really good. So definitely a hit. Uh, is, uh, is there anything these Instant Pots can't do? Um, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, so I definitely consider doing that again. It takes uh, less time to cook these things because I think usually a uh, a traditional microwave or a traditional meatloaf in the oven is usually going to be 30 to 45 minutes and uh, we did this in, in a little less time and it's really really good way to do it so recommend this one I'll put the recipe below uh, in the description and I definitely recommend this one so I think that's all that I have for today thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse Bon Appetit